With LG Solar exiting the solar industry, homeowners have had no choice but to shift their attention to other lesser known brands like QCell and REC Group. For some of you watching, you actually may already be familiar with these two brands. Heck, QCell has been the number one sold solar panel for four or five years in a row, and REC is one of the oldest solar panel manufacturers in the industry. We've put them against LG in previous videos, but with LG out of the picture, we want you to be able to compare the advantages and disadvantages of each of these manufacturers so you can make the most informed decision when going solar. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty details of these two panel manufacturers, I gotta ask that you take a second and request your hassle-free quote from us. We really do make it easy and affordable for you to make the switch to clean renewable energy. And heck, while you're down there following the link to our website to request that quote, you should go ahead and subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and so does YouTube. Now, before I get into the head-to-head -head comparison of QCell and REC Group solar panels, I want to first give a little background on both these manufacturers. QCell was founded in 1999 by a group of German engineers that had developed a new way of making solar cells. They named it Duo Cells. Pretty simple. They basically took the traditional square solar cell, very boring, and cut it in half. They realized that doing this allowed the energy to flow more easily through the substrates of the cell, which in turn increased power, efficiency, and reliability of the panel as a whole. This caught the attention of Hanawa, a South Korean industrial manufacturer that has their hands in just about everything you can imagine. Most of the engineers that I speak with are actually very familiar with Hanawa, but they tend to be more of a behind the scenes company than a forward company. Regardless, Hanawa to the rest of the world is like Samsung to us here in the United States. Hanawa purchased QCell in late 2012 for a whopping $44 million. No chump change. Since then, QCell and Hanawa have soared from the third largest solar manufacturer to the number one solar panel sold in the United States and has become the largest solar manufacturer in the industry. In fact, QCell is one of a handful of solar manufacturers that actually assembles their panels here in the United States. But even with all this going on, REC Group had been hard at work in Norway manufacturing developing solar technology four years before the founding of QCell. REC Group has been an international pioneer in the solar industry and has been committed to its core mission for the last 25 years and that is to empower people with clean solar energy, which in 2019, they had reached a milestone of 10 gigawatts of manufactured and installed solar capacity. That has generated a ridiculous, I mean a ridiculous amount of energy. We're talking 13 terawatt hours of energy, which has empowered more than 16 million people around the world. Now, REC Group isn't as well known or has been a big competitor here in the United States market, but it has been a leader throughout the rest of the world with their proven solar cell technology that has earned REC Group multiple awards internationally for best in class efficiency, coefficiency, and power ratings. So if you're gonna go solar, these two manufacturers should be pretty high on your list of consideration because both are using very similar technology in slightly different ways that you really wouldn't know right off the bat. Now with that said, I want to focus on what's important when you're looking at specification sheets from manufacturers. First, of course, being the power rating of the module. This is the STC rating. The higher the wattage of the panel, the less of them you need to have installed on your roof. Pretty simple. Next is the efficiency rating of the module. A higher efficiency is important because it means the module is able to capture more sunlight and convert it into usable energy. This is followed by the coefficient rating, which is critical for those of you that live in extreme climates because this rating 
dictates how well the panel will actually perform in extreme conditions like really hot days. I think it's important to look at the nominal module operating temperature as, as well, as this rating is considered in most of the industry the real world power output rating and is typically used to properly size your microinverter to the panel. From here, we want to look at the product itself, the performance, and the labor warranties provided by the manufacturer. With the last thing, and probably the most important, the total system price. You know I was going to include that in this video, of course, because what good is a comparison if you don't know how much it's going to cost you? Remember, pricing shown in this video is an estimate and is subject to change, so it's in your best interest if you're someone that lives in our area of Southern California and want a more accurate quote, then you should visit us online to request your hassle-free quote from us. I really do make it easy and I think very affordable for you to make the switch to clean renewable energy. With all that said, let's get down and start looking at these spec sheets. For QCell, we'll be comparing the QPeak Duo Black ML G10 Plus 400 module. And for REC Group, we'll be comparing the latest Alpha Pure Black 400 module. Both QCell and REC latest solar panels offer 400 watts of power. That's the STC rating. And there's really no difference in this area at all. REC Group has a slightly higher efficiency rating than QCell, roughly 1%. I wouldn't consider this large enough to make a significant impact on your annual production of energy. As for the coefficient rating, REC does edge over QCell here as well with the industry's best rating. No one has anything as low as this. So if you live somewhere with extreme conditions, the REC panel will likely outperform the QCell panel here. Looking at the real world power rating, the NMOT of these two panels, we find that the REC offers five watts more compared to QCell. Again, a very marginal difference, roughly 1.5%. Now things really start to change when we look at the warranties for these two manufacturers. Now both manufacturers offer a 25 year product warranty, which basically covers manufactured defects and damages. They both also offer a 25 year performance warranty, but REC offers a 92% guarantee compared to QCell's 86%. This basically means that over 25 years, the REC Alpha Pure Black 400 will only lose less than 8% of its original power rating compared to QCell at 14%. For some, that may seem like a big difference, but this equates to roughly one solar panel over 25 years. And I'm telling you this because when we look at the pricing estimates, the Q-Cell system I've put together will have one more panel than the REC system to account for this difference. The last warranty REC offers that Q-Cell does not offer at this time is a labor reimbursement warranty. This is a really valuable offer from the manufacturer if you're concerned that the solar company installing or selling you solar may go out of business in the near future or will be unable to honor their workmanship and service warranties. That way you can contact REC and another trusted partner can assist you. Well, you've made it this far in the video. I'm very thankful for that. So hopefully you've given it a thumbs up. And your reward is the pricing estimate. Remember, the pricing shown in this video is an estimate and is subject to change. Both QCell and REC Group have announced price increases on the way expected to arrive mid Q2. And the main reasoning is their biggest competitor, LG Solar, has exited the market and now they have to take on that market share. With that said, the Q-Cell system I designed is an 8.4 kilowatt system using 21 400 watt modules and 21 of Enphase's eighth generation microinverters, specifically the IQ8M. The total system price before the federal investment tax credit of 26% is $25,665. And after the federal investment tax credit, your net system price is roughly $18,992. Comparing this to REC's system, which is an 8 kilowatt using 20 400 watt panels and 20 Enphase IQ8 microinverters. 
we end up with a total system price before the 26% tax credit of $27,460 and 20320 after the 26% federal investment tax credit. This makes the REC system roughly $2,000 more, and it's one panel less than the Q-cell system. Remember, we added an extra Q-cell panel to offset the energy lost over 25 years to compete with the REC's better performance warranty. The failure rate for both these manufacturers is incredibly low. How low? We're talking less than 0.001% low. You have a better chance of getting your spouse pregnant sitting next to you watching this video than you have of one of these panels failing on your roof. And both of these companies are financially stable with no intentions that I'm aware of, of exiting the solar industry anytime in the near future. I mean, why would you when you're clearly dominating the industry? I personally would save the $2,000, but that's because I don't feel the REC panel, while it is better spec wise, is really giving you anything that significantly better. But regardless of my opinion, we offer both of these panels to our customers and we are a certified partner with both QCell and REC Group. So whichever option you select, you are truly getting the best your money can buy. Well, that's it for this week's video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel by using the link down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and so does YouTube. Of course, we're in the market of selling and installing solar. So if you live in our area, Southern California, then you should visit our website. Yeah, just go down below and click on that link so you can request your hassle-free quote. We really do make it easy and affordable for you to make the switch to clean renewable energy. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.